Cody, you have shown me what it is to be loved. Your heart for me is incredible, but your heart for God is what makes me fall for you over and over again every day. When we first started dating, you said that you pray for us every night, and you have proved that God answers prayers. The way that you love me reminds me of how Jesus loves me. You are the most gentle and kind-hearted person I've ever met. I adore everything about you. Today, I get to marry the man of my dreams. You are the greatest thing I've ever had, and this love is the most precious thing in this life. I promise to love you and care for you. I will always be honest with you and sometimes maybe a little too honest. I will always be kind to you and patient with you. You are my shining light, my heart, my soul, my everything. You are my true counterpart. I will hold you, I will honor you, and I will respect you. I will encourage you, cherish you, and I will love you through all the days of my life. Lord, so honored anytime you give me the privilege of performing a wedding ceremony and over the years I can't count how many there are but I have to say this one's all the more special because I feel like they're both my own anyway God as they prepare to exchange these vows, I pray that uh, you'll bless them. And that, Lord, you'll uh, use the Holy Spirit to so draw them to become one now in you. But that also, their vows and their testimony before these witnesses today may be an encouragement to every home. And now, Father, I pray your blessings over this marriage, over this home, over this family. Thank you for this new life that you have now given them. In Jesus' name, amen. I remember the first time Brynn told me about Cody and I could just tell by the way she talked that he was just somebody special. First time I met him, I wondered at first if he talked, <laughs> but then once I, once I got to know him, I realized exactly why Brynn felt the way she does. Cody's an amazing guy. And I'm just so happy that my best friend found someone so amazing to spend her life with. And I wish you a lifetime of love, happiness, and lots of babies. I read a quote somewhere that I believe to be true. You are only going to be as good as the people you surround yourself with. 
I can stand here today and say that I'm proud to co-co to you bring friends of mine. Although you both have many friendships, always know that it will never amount to the friendship you share with one another for the rest of your lives. So Cody, continue to look at Bryn the way you do today and always have. Always know and treat her like she's the most important person to you. And Bryn, even though Cody may not express how he feels always, do not get frustrated with him. Just look at the way he looks at you. It says it all. Now by the powers invested in me by the great state of North Carolina and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is now my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Cody, you may kiss your bride. Everyone, it is now my highest honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cody Gross. Would you rejoice? <laughs>